When I took my first and only formal ballroom dancing class, uh, the teacher was gorgeous and we were standing in this kind of proximity and uh, we were in, in each other's arms and uh, I was enthralled. She said, we women have to step back on the first step and you men have to step forward. We want to go with you. Don't push us. So I learned to kind of, when I think of life, I think of that we have free will. We have 51% at least say in what goes on. And I think the rest is a higher consciousness, God. Not any formal religion, a consciousness. And we are directing it. And in some ways, it's directing us by allowing our sensitivities. If it gets rigid, we get rigid. Uh, uh, and we force it. And I, I have, in my past, felt like I was unheard, yelling in the fog. And I kept saying, and now I know when I'm heard. And, and I am a benevolent captain employing 51% uh, a listening to the crew instead of them re reacting in resentment. We're all working together. This is technology. Seafaring worked well in technology. Um, it doesn't happen on its own. All the great philosophers, Socrates, Plato, Aristotle, Karl Marx, wondered how everyone could have a good time. And democracy doesn't work on the ocean. If everyone had a say on where we go and how we get there in the middle of the ocean, we ain't getting anywhere. So there's a hierarchy uh, to, to how things work. And we are that, the big and small reflecting. So when I'm the king, I am my own best servant, and I treat myself like a king and I live as simply as possible, simple and effective, effective and efficient, comforts, the best courtesy, and quality of life is the most important. So when I'm dictating what I want as a dictator in nature, I think that God, the higher consciousness, everything beyond my control, what's in my control, what's not, can I tell the difference? is suggesting to me how to go with the flow, how to surf the wave of my own goodness by saying such would, uh, um, uh, would you like to d enjoy sleep now? Would you, oh yeah, I'm tired instead of resisting and I have to have coffee and I'm tired. The body wants to sleep, mind, body, spirit. It's a team sport, me. I have to coordinate my body functions. How many times do I get emergency hungry? Not often. I eat when I'm hungry and I sleep when I'm tired. I was laughing. The mix-up is I I sleep when I'm I'm hungry and I'm and I eat when I'm when I'm when I'm exhausted. Um. So I think I believe I feel that nature, God, everything beyond my control is indicating to me by being a dance partner and saying, would you like to deal with this? All adversarial forces are teachers until absolvable. This isn't my control, this isn't, can I tell the difference? Yes, no, maybe. And how much am I resisting? If I feel like I'm not hearing, if I feel like I'm not being heard, that's not gonna make me heard more. So when I sense that I'm rising to anxiety, which can be an addiction, also like a drug. If I, if I don't feel anxious, I don't feel comfortable. It takes a while to, to adapt new. The cruise ship turns slow, slowly. It takes a while to, to adapt to new consistencies and trust, self-trust, when I know I'm heard when I know what I know.
comes in my consistency. And it comes with my ease of, <gasps> am I, is this fight or flight now? Not if I have choices. And when, the slower I walk into it, the slower how I ask you to dance. Would you like to dance with me? Come on, we're dancing. Come on, let's get coffee. I love to, I, I, I love to be honored, respected. That's what the French people want when, they, when we enter their shops and we say hello. They're hungover. <laughs> There's a lot going on with them. The, to respect somebody else, this above all to thine own self be true. Is this comfortable for me? Is this functional? Is it functional? Is it fun and functional? Is it agreeable? <sighs> when I don't know, taking a pause moment, just easing back in a breath, a silent breath to assess what's going on and not know what I know and have to push that rock up the hill and white knuckle it and I have to force this. When I feel that I'm forcing, when I feel that I'm nervous, fearful, that's when I can take a pause and say, what's going on? And, and time has a lot to do with this. If I say there's not enough time, then I don't have a, enough time to make a good decision. And the family dynamic and community, it, it's interactive. And I found a great liberty in finding my own timing and uh, uh, like a castaway on an island in a modern day sense. Some mod a monks go away from society. They live on hills to, be in, in, to, to, to live a simpler life and not be overwhelmed with people pushing and saying, do you want to dance? Come on, nobody's asking me. Just give me, give, give me taxes, give me this. You don't you, don't this. Don't, don't run doesn't tell me what to do. Walk, please. Walk, please. That tells me what to do. What am I, what do I want to do? Fear is what I don't want. The opposite of what I don't want, what I'm complaining about, the first step of problem solving, everyone's great at that. The next step is, the opposite is, I don't like this, I don't like, well, what do you want? I want the opposite, I want to feel comfortable and safe. How is the most operative word, how? How, not why. Why did the forest burn down? How, what's the next right action? I'm thinking about the mountaintop. You know where I gotta go? The mountaintop, the mountaintop. I gotta think about this step. A thousand mile journey starts with one step, one singular step and every step thereafter. And a lot of us get caught in the carrot, the reward. I can't do now. I have to suffer now because that carrot's more important than right now. It's only right now, always right now. This step. And I don't know if I'd like the top of that mountain. I must be glorious up there. You gotta go this step, just this step, first step. Slow is the fastest way to get what we want. And when I'm concentrated and clear in my intention, and my sensitivities, my arms getting a little tired. I realize this has been going on for about eight and a half minutes and I've given my best philosophy in a relaxed way in the inside I'm judging and uh, um, I, I want to wrap it up. And I feel like th there is a sense of fear that I could, you know, fuck it up at the end. And, and I'm trusting that like when I say a funny line, it just comes to me. I didn't, I didn't put on my glasses an engineer, an architect, a funny, this is all about a funny line now. No, when that happens in a group of people, you've done it, and you say something funny, it just comes through you. That's nature. That's allowing it by feeling safe in my consistencies, in my comfortable, in my accountability, in my integrity, my authenticity. If I'm scared of this, that's something to be aware of. That's, that's my, my uh, lady in waiting say, would, would my liege like to rub my uh, vagina for your pleasure? Uh, I, 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 um, I, that, <laughs> that's a crude example uh, to say that life invites you to do that. And even with the dragons, it's inviting you to say, what's in my control, what's not, and can I tell the difference? What choice do I have towards grace and joy? And I think there's other dimensions and, and the physics of this world
uh, have I went up on my line they're inconsistent uh, and us perceiving what we perceive we're part of it the placebo effect that that I'm sonar sounding what my identity is through my consciousness my feedback am I am I not and the voices in my head how I speak to myself you're brilliant you're the, those I, I consider it at the time and if I'm using foul language like you're stupid and that takes a toll too my idea of, of, of what it is and I'm part of what seeing consciousness my perception and the universe are one in the same like fear and love fear and love are one in the same in the sense that they're interdependent and not known unless the other one is there so we can use fear as as an immediate uh, 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 navigational tool towards what we want and what we do have and what comforts we have afford or we can we can just spiral down to the bottom of a buyer a bar stool and and live there you know thinking it's all for naught and I can't and this usually happens when we're juggling too many balls I can do it I can drive that motorcycle really fucking fast it's it takes much more discipline to drive the motorcycle slow and in control in a in a structured system way all together my mind body and spirit am I asking them to dance or, am, or is one leading like a wild horse and how have I developed my ability to feel comfortable in choosing so with my family growing up and I, I find it much more comforting than the challenges of being with other people and them introducing different ideas to my feedback to deal with this and deal with that and I'm aware I'm incorporating us so I, I, working on my own excellence has been really important for me other people have other dynamics I, I'm I, I'm only dealing with me think local act local think global um, as my world gets more satisfying to me, uh, um, I'm just working on my own function. Functional, good. And I'm really enjoying it. Would my leaves like to culminate this? Thank you. I, I'm going to say that I believe in God. And that's not by any formal religion it, it is there's more than what is and I don't have I just have to figure out how I don't have to know why and I'm here to learn how to love to learn it's all about what feels good and what's agreeable and uh, that's my philosophy my name is Michael Deloise and I'm in Santa Monica <laughs>